They say if you love what you do, you'll never have to work a day in your life. And for this family, loving who you do it with is just as important. Waits Market is our family's small little business on the corner of Oakland and Railroad that has been here for 90 years now. So it's a mom and pop store and I think a lot of people come back for the nostalgia of it. As soon as people walk through that front door and step on our floors, they're like, the squeaky floors, we still have the squeaky floors. It's fun to hear people say that. Located in Methuen, Massachusetts, Thwaites is a throwback market started generations ago by Hannah Thwaites. And close to a century later, it's now run by her great-great-granddaughter, Abby, who's been a fixture in the shop since she was a kid. When we were growing up, kids would pretend to play store. We were actually down here playing store. So after working in finance for a bit, she decided to return to her roots and run the family business with a team of relatives that span three generations. I'm Abby. I am general manager of Thwaites Market. This is my dad, Ken. He is the owner. My grandmother, Barbara. My mom is over there in the corner. That's Cindy. Hello. <laughs> and we all work as a unit. There are little jobs to do, from the butcher to the baker. And the specialty of the house, the English pork pie. The pork pie is the best thing that we have here. It is simply the best. Just everything that is in it, between the crust from the dough, the juices inside of it, the seasoning, the pork itself, it's ground fresh every single day. So you know you're getting a fresh piece of filling every time you bite into a pie. It's all done inside Thwaites' teeny tiny kitchen. As you can see, we have a very small kitchen. It's kind of tight quarters back there. We manage to dance around each other. We make it work. It's a little dance that we have to do that gets the job done. And that little dance has several steps this group has mastered. First, we make the dough. They have have two presses over there. One's a heated die that actually forms the shell. Once they do that, they put all the filling into the pies. Then they use the crimper and actually form the top of the pie. The machines that they use are from England. These tins are from England. So it's all authentic stuff that we're using. And the fact that we make all of these pies individually by hand, I mean, it's pretty awesome. It looks simple, but there's really an art to everything that we do in here. And after a quick spin in Thwaites' rotating oven, pork pie perfection is achieved. People from England come here and say that our pies are better than the ones at home. That means something. That's that's a big deal right there. And while this family agrees on how to make the pies, they don't necessarily agree on how to eat them. The traditional pork pie, when I eat that, I kind of kill it. I take the top of the pie off first, leaving the rim of the pie on. I just pick it up and start from the edge. And I put a little bit of our homemade gravy in it. I use the crust as a little bowl, if you will. I love the crust, so I pick up the, around the crust. Then I'll rip all of the outside off. It's friggin' awesome every time. Since these pies are so awesome, they figured why stop at one. So there's everything from the basic but tasty chicken pie. Our chicken pie, it is probably the most tender piece of meat that you will eat. To the over the top mac and cheese pie. It's homemade mac and cheese with a thick cheesy sauce. And then on top of there, we put Ritz crackers. When you bite in, you just get the Ritz cracker, the crust, and then the gooeyness of the cheese with the macaroni. It is. It's good. There are pies stuffed with chili and spicy buffalo chicken, loaded up with broccoli and cheese, and this one based on a caprese salad called the tomato job. It is a caprese salad put into a pie. We have fresh mozzarella, chopped tomato, ground basil, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and we put it into a pie. My dad couldn't say caprese, so he instead he named it the tomato job, and we took it from there. And the British delicacies go way beyond pies with house-made bangers and the sinful scotch egg. The scotch egg, it's a hard-boiled egg wrapped in pork sausage meat, rolled in breadcrumbs, and baked in the oven. Having all of that in your hand, in your mouth at the same time, it's the most amazing thing. It's delicious. And while carrying on a family tradition may seem like a lot of pressure, to Abby, doing something she loves every day with the people she loves is as easy as pie. It is the most amazing feeling knowing that I'm going to keep this going, that we're going to have customers keep this going, that their grandparents and great-grandparents were here when my great-grandfather, when my grandmother were here. And it's probably the most important feeling to me. It's something that I love doing. It's something that I'll do the rest of my life.